What's up, y'all? Welcome back for another build guide. Today, I'm going to show you how to build the Ebon Hawk from Star Wars. Stats are on the left side of the screen. Mobility is about 95 and cost should be around 500,000. Let's get started. All right, we can get everything we need here at our outpost landing pad with a builder. So once you get there, interact with the console, modify a ship. Start with your landing bay. We'll be using the 120LD landing bay. Then go into Habs and grab a Stroud 3x1. Place on top of that landing bay there. Then grab a Tayo 2x1 mid. Place that right here. I'm sorry. That's supposed to be a 3x1. Then you want to get this and place it there as well. Then grab a Stroud 1x1. One one. Place behind this 2x1 here. Then grab another 2x1. Place it there and there. Then you can get another 1x1 one one and place two of them here. Now we want to get a Tayo 2x1 bottom. Place that behind our landing bay over here. Now let's grab our grav drive and reactor as well as a 500T fuel tank. Go ahead and pull these back up and out of the way temporarily. Place your reactor on the back here. Grab your fuel tank. Place it under the one by one. And we're going to get several of these to surround the reactor a little bit. Once you get one under the reactor like that, take your grav drive and place it level with the reactor. Then we're going to start duplicating this several times. It may jump up and down. Just make sure that the one you continue to duplicate is level with the reactor. Our first one went up. We got another one that went down. Now we've still got this one highlighted in the middle. When we start duplicating it now, it's going to travel across over towards our reactor and eventually it'll snap to place on its own like that once it does you can accept and delete the extras now if the grav drive appears red like this whenever you're doing the duplication what you should do is change your camera angle you may have to change your camera angle a few times and this works consistently on console I believe consoles locked to 30 FPS so you could try dropping your FPS down if you were on PC and having trouble I'm not sure if that'll work because I can't test it myself but if it does please do let me know in the comments once you get your grav drive to pop into the reactor like this you want to come to this fuel tank here and duplicate it several times to get one inside of this combination here. Once that happens, delete the extras except for the one in front. Select all, edit, and accept. Then you want to grab this one and pull it behind there. Then we're going to grab an AccuLander 11 landing gear and place here. Make sure it's the one with connections on both sides. Then you want to grab another 2x1 bottom, place here, followed by another one there. Next, we can get our cockpit. It's going to be one of the Stroud Viking cockpit. Once it snaps like that, press up, then place it and duplicate it twice. Then delete the middle and top one. Whenever you grab this one, it's going to jump to place. Then you can hit accept. Now go back into your Habs 
and get a Tayo 2x1 top. As well as a 1x1 top. Now grab our docker, which is going to be the NG2 docker in this case. And we can go ahead and get our supernova engines as well. Place them at the back here on either side of that one fuel tank. Going to structural, we're going to need an equipment plate. Deimos bumper. Deimos skeg A. As well as the skeg B. Spine A4. Spine E4. Then we'll need a spine F. Stroud cap A, a Stroud cowling, cap C aft top, cap B four top, and a nose cap C. I believe that is everything from structural. And you can take this nose cap C here and place it on top of your landing bay. Make sure that it's facing that direction so that you can get another one. Place on top, then duplicate this again. And if it stays in like that, you just want to flip and accept. If it doesn't, however, though, say it comes out red and like this, just pull it out. Make sure you've got a valid placement and then grab it again. Shove it back in there, flip and cancel. Then we want to get this one here, place it there, then do the same thing again. Then we want to grab this one here, place it there. Now grab your Stroud Cap A and Cowing. Place the Cowing here, the Cap A right there. That's going to allow us to do this one more time. Then take this cap A, change the variant to get the aft version, place one there as well as here. Then you can duplicate those to put one on the bottom of each one. Then you can grab your landing gear and place here. Get another one for the other side. And then we're going to duplicate these cap A's and this cowling go over there as well. Now grab your Deimos pieces. We're going to need all of these. Except for the bumper. Then you want to take this spine E4, place it here. Duplicate it and flip it to place another one behind it. Do the same thing on the other side. Then you can get your spine A, flip it place behind those on both sides then you can get your skeg A and B and place them under now once you've got that pull these back out
and place the Deimos Spine F at the front on each side. Then you can replace these. Just shove it in there, flip, and cancel. Do the same thing with the other ones. Make sure everything is connected. Grab your bumper and place it up front here on this side. Then get this Stroud Cap C aft top. And we're going to pull the engine 2x1 and 3x1 up out of the way temporarily again. We're going to place this right here. And duplicate it. One's going to jump below. That's fine. Just duplicate the original again until it starts traveling like this. Once we get one to snap there like that, I'm going to delete all of the extras. And then take these items here and place them back where they go. Grab a Stroud cap to place here, and another one for the bottom. Then you can also get one and place it on top of the engine. You may have to get a valid placement, then slide it back, flip, and cancel. And you want to get some more up in front of those. Now, grab another one, place it behind your docker, and we're going to squeeze two in here. Once you've got that one placed, you can slide the front ones back. Then grab this nose cap B. These are going to go on the bottom. But first, take a cap A. Place here and here on each side. These are going to hold some of our weapons in a moment. Then you can get this crowd nose cap B. Place it here. Go ahead and go into weapons and grab... PBO 300 Auto Alpha Beams. We'll get those placed real quick. So you want to get one placed on the foremost Stroud Cap A. Then you want to duplicate this one to get another one on the cap behind it. Bring that to the other side. Do the same thing again. Now we're going to get this Cap B here and use it to smooth out these lines a little bit by placing it in, hitting flip and cancel. Same thing on the other side here. Now go ahead and pull your cowlings back out on each side and place your equipment plates on top of the landing gear. We'll get one on top of each gear out here. Go back into your weapons, get PBO 300 Auto Alpha Turrets, get two rear-facing ones on those plates there. Then I'm going to get two more and place them up here. Make sure you've got a valid placement. We're actually going to have to flip and cancel with this turret here, which is fine, because you can actually flip turrets, unlike most weapons. Now I'm going to replace my Nova Cowlings.
and go ahead and assign those weapons. We'll get the auto alpha turret there and auto alpha beam here. Then go back into weapons and I'm actually going to grab six of the Vanguard particle cannon. For particle beams. Auto projectors. I'm just going to place one up here. Now I'm going to temporarily pull this landing gear out so that I can place one there and there. Then just slide that landing gear back in by hitting flip and cancel a few times. Then we want to get three more on the other side. Go ahead and assign those auto projectors. Then we need to grab a shield. And we can hide this just about anywhere. So I'm going to place mine right here. I'm also going to come back here and duplicate these engines. We had one snap up, so what I'm actually going to do is duplicate this again. And then I'm going to select all, edit, and accept. Then delete that extra one up there. We'll do the same thing over here. And we'll get rid of that there. Now let's go into cargo and get NST hauler shielded cargo. I'm going to place one right here. Then I'm going to duplicate that and shove it up into the amalgamation of devices here. Hit flip, flip again, and cancel. Then select all, edit, and accept. And we're going to do that until our mobility goes down. It appears we can have three of these. So let's get number two shoved in there. Flip and cancel. Select all, edit, and accept. And we're going to get one more because we'll be deleting this bottom one. Now delete that. And the only error we have now is too few landing gears. That's an easy fix. You just highlight this one here in the middle. Duplicate. And accept. Now we've got two errors, so I want to highlight the original again and hit duplicate and accept until we get back down to one error. Now that we've gotten down to one error, I'm going to select all, edit, and accept. Now everything should be nominal. You should be able to leave the ship builder. Of course, customize the two by ones as you see fit. I'm going to back out and accept this. You see it's appeared under the plane like this. Make sure that you view another ship and then come back to this one before leaving the ship builder menu. And then I'm just going to go ahead and explore this one that I have customized with paint jobs and various ab units inside so that you can see what it looks like. Now, even though you were facing the back of the ship, whenever you enter this landing bay, it's going to have you facing the front got it set up by mine you just make a immediate left and then you can walk straight up to the cockpit like this however if you turn around immediately you'll notice you've been brought into the three by one that has a two by one on the left side here in this case it's my armory and under the two by one i've got a 
sorry, under the 3x1, I've got a computer core. And if we move through to the other side, we've got our docker here in the middle, as well as a workshop and science lab under the cockpit area of the ship. Also in the three by one, we've got this door here leading into a one by one, which just gives us passage to the other side of the ship where I've got a living quarters with very large storage area. You can fit a bunch of junk in this hole. And we've also got an infirmary over here next to the living quarters. If we go above the cockpit up here, we've got a one by one, which leads into our captain's quarters, kind of secluded from the rest of the ship. As always, make sure your engines and shields are fully powered, then you can distribute your power among the rest of your weapons. If you're gonna put less to one of them, I would put less to your rear facing turret. And I do believe that covers assembly on this one. If this video helped you out, please remember to hit those like and sub buttons down below, and I hope to see y'all here in another one. Later.